your seats. Take your seats for the performance. Take your seats for the Everybody is going to have a part. Yes. So don't try and hide. You're all going to have a part. Tell them our parts in private. No. <laughs> Or bigger than others. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna have a part. Guys, you wanna sit over there? Please. Who's the boy with the most facial hair? Charles or Lance? Lack of facial hair. Lack of facial hair. Barbara is an absolute natural diva bro. take up too much time because I understand there's some lots of lust and people are getting into yeah. and all that <laughs> stuff and, and the rest of us are teasing in Sinclair because in fact it was indeed Darby Chamberlain, Chamberlain who stole it. Chamberlain! Chamberlain! Bushrike. But who found it? But it's just it's just not a good count to congratulate you on the 32 minutes. Shut up man. <laughs> you are, you, we've got a role for you. So we're going to remake the movie Woo! of a movie called The Dam Busters. Whoa! We're going to very quickly remake it. We're going to very quickly remake it. And we're going to get everyone to have a role. It's one of the great Second World War movies for the youngsters. <laughs> So for the youngsters, there was this event called the Second World War. Overrated. And in the middle of the Second World War, we Hey, Jerry, Jerry, just... Can we have the dog put down? That's interfering. Stephen Coppola. Where's Dave? Dave, I need to... Okay, okay, okay. So wait, so wait. Is this a full-life Chamberlain production? So in the middle of the Second World War, the Poms knew that they had to strike back against the Germans, and they had to... What they did is they decided to blow up the German dams that produced all the electrical power to make all the armaments no, that they needed. No, they didn't. Well, more or less. Okay, more or less. More or less. It was and a drinking water. They came up. They came. They came up with a, a very. The, you can't I mean, blow up I mean, a dam. You can't blow up a dam wall. Oh, yes, you can. And yes, you can. Oh, yeah, it's right. a very clever invention called Good. a bouncing bomb that bounces across the water like oh. the sun. Is it? A cunning and man, no doubt. A cunning man. So, yeah. I don't know you know the story. He's so they did it. Man, my lord. My lord. So they invented a bouncing bomb. Is this going to take long? No, okay, they invented a bouncing bomb. Just bombers went out and did it, and so we're going to recreate the music. But the first thing you all have to learn is the music. The music. So the music goes like, like this. Whenever we 
say the word. immediately answer, but you don't have to pretend to be an aeroplane. If you don't like the aeroplane thing and you feel like being a nerd, you can be a pilot. <laughs> but you still have to see. <laughs> <laughs> So what happened? So now we're going to read the blue. We're going to read the navigator. And there's some major parts. There are some major parts in the remaking of the movie. And the most important part of all. It's just, it's just gone that way. That's what it's going to be. The most important part is Winston Churchill. Oh, oh. So we, we need, need, need somebody you. who can say Thomas Webb. We need someone who can say never, never in the field of human comfort <laughs> and so much be owed by so many. A Churchillian speech, please. A Churchillian speech. Here we go. No, go ahead. one. Go one. Never in the field of no. And remember, I want to win. Now, now, now. Oh, now. Oh, no. We're not going to wait. We're going to do this. We're not going to wait until tonight. Da -da. We are looking for a Hitler. Okay, we need a Hitler. And we are starting to look. No, no, we have the two directors. We're starting to look pretty closely at a couple of. We need people who are able to sing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. But you only, don't worry. You only have to use German. Say. I need to point out the, the, ro the role of Hitler is a non-speaking part. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say non drinking part? <laughs> I refuse! If he runs out of words, he just carries on. Steffi Graf und Bauer. I am going to submit to my union. Pumpernickel und Stuttgart. CDs, Ben, just make up, you're just singing. It's a long drinking part. We need anyone who doesn't like me, choice Anyone who's scared, anyone who's frightened, anyone who's frightened about which role they may have, and you just want to duck out quite quickly, you can be the cameraman. And you have to follow, but you've got to follow everything. You've got to be up there filming. And you can be like, if you're really frightened, you just do this every now and again. Just be making So is everyone going to get the clap that they deserve? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where's this person judging? He ran away. What's going to happen? He had some cigars, was he? I think he's looking in your cigar collection. Now, now I have is cigars. a problem with cigars. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've got to get it. Let's just check. We're very, we're very good. 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 So this is almost perfect because we'll make this a fuselage. Yeah. But in front, in front, we need uh, Wing Commander Guy Gibson. Some anybody who's patient. We need him sitting here. Can I play two roles? Alongside, <laughs> alongside. So anyone, who, anyone who doesn't want to do too much, you just have to sit in front and see. Can I just be in front of Wing Gibson? You're flying the plane. You're flying the plane. Oh, 